I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got married. That's pregnant, definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's yeah, not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. I noticed with these shows that once one person pops the balloon, even if the other women have not popped the balloon, he had already been saying what he was saying. Once one girl pop her balloon or whatever, the other ones holding the balloon either feel like, okay, should I stay on cold and pop my balloon with the girls? Because the girls are saying this dude is like this. And if I'm okay with this dude after the main, after the majority of women are not okay with this dude, then I'm like a goofy, I'm like a pick me, I'm like whatever. And I'm like, I'm not standing on sisterhood. I'm not a girl's girl. So let me go ahead and pop my balloon. I notice when one person pops their balloon, the other women kind of follow. And it's kind of like, are you popping it because... This person really said something that turned you off or you're popping it because of how the other women feel about what he said, not particularly you. Because if you're here to look for somebody or you're here to date somebody, I don't know why you would pop your balloon because other people pop their balloon. But my thing with this particular situation is he's literally that y'all are picking him and he's picking you too. So if you popping your balloon on me telling me why you don't want to date me and I'm asking you questions about yourself and your shit don't sound like it's together. Why are you feeling the way about me trying to say that I shouldn't be qu questioning you or asking you questions when you're the one rejecting me? Let me kind of get some context as to who these people are that are rejecting me. That's how I took it. But with this situation, I already know it's going to go left because women do not like being asked or mentioned anything about their baby fathers or their situations or their past. But for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose. His pants is too tight. But you got these low titties in this outfit with this, I don't know, this fringe skirt you got going on. This don't like an outfit you came to pick anybody up. And you got these these braids sticking out in the back of your head. Like, how you talking about his pants and your outfit look is giving ghetto Pocahontas? I don't know. And um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. 34. Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Because mm -hmm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No. I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So, what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? Something. Mm. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly. But I think I'm... It's definitely something wrong with you. It's definitely something wrong. Just fine. You think you're just fine after expressing that you did not choose him because of his pants. But I'm sure your baby fathers had loose pants and they still ran off after they got coochie and got you pregnant. And now you had... You, you, one of them passed away. And then the other two are just deadbeats. So I'm going to assume the first one had to be a deadbeat too. Because I don't think that you just had a good option the first time. You can pick good the first time. And then the other two, it was just horrible. So the fact that you have three different men that chose not to stay around with you and your kid shows a direct reflection as to your incompetence to kind of comprehend situations and situational environments and, and neglect to your first child. Because... Why would you keep having children by men who don't want to be in relationships and committed relationships to you? And now you're on a balloon pop show to say, you know what, sir, I'm not questioning you as a man as far as the qualities, how you provide, what you can bring to the table, what I can add to you. I'm going to say I don't want to date you because of your pants. Guarantee this bitch is going to end up with a fourth baby daddy. Because she's incompetent and she don't need to be having her legs open. They need to be sewn the fuck together. If you sitting up here saying, um, it could be something wrong with me. I don't think it's something wrong with me. You don't think it's something wrong with you having three kids and three different baby daddies? You don't see anything wrong? And you got the nerves to be in the spot popping balloons. Like, what is going on today? I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants...
You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City. And she said, I'm a little ghetto. I mean, well, we knew that by the three babies. <laughs> the three baby daddy. You didn't have to tell us she was ghetto, girl. We knew that by the outfit and the tattoo on the chest. That's what we knew. So it's like you talking about the, the pants is where you draw the line. I'm glad she popped the boom. He don't need nothing like that. Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Okay. So this is the next grass team, right? This girl had a lot to say about a situation that was not her situation. And I was just like, okay, so girl, like, do you not understand? And how are you getting offended by what's the truth? And we always dismiss facts and, and past situation when it comes to women being fucked up. I'm doing amazing. Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county. And I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right. And now uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But mm -hmm. the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it, it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future. So that's their past. It's not their future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter. She's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you I'm choose choosing, not I to, choose have, not any to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. And... Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't, didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is their past that don't determine their future? Not, because, not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say, like, you, you, you made, people make mistakes. And it could happen, I, I feel like, once or twice. Okay, some things become a choice, but no, your no, past no. doesn't determine. When it comes to w once, is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then, say, like, you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, and things don't work. So then, I guess you made a mistake? Or, and then, so you, once is a mistake, and then twice is, I don't believe in that. I hate women say that. So if you get married and he doesn't stick around, it's a mistake. The difference is, is you got married, unfortunately, for people, for women or us who don't really realize that. The reason what he's saying is because if you had a baby the first time without a commitment, just in whatever shacking up situation, not saying the person didn't love you, but you had something that was not on paper to say that this person wants to commit to you, then it the what you did in the process, you went to build your family or start your family was a mistake. Because there, there always should be order when it comes to raising kids so that, that they can emulate. Now, even though kids don't know that you're married or not, they still need to. there still needs to be some sort of commitment where you will require a man to do this, especially if you're out, back out here dating and you're requiring a man to marry you. So that means that that's something you wanted. You knew it's what you wanted even before you had the first child. So to go back out in the world, have another child under the same circumstances with a nigga who do not want to be there, have a third kid with a nigga who don't want to be there. Now you have three broken homes that you've allowed to come out of your coochie. Now, the, the fact that she said you're kind of challenging the women. No, he's asking questions so I can identify with the type of women who feel like they're so above that they can reject me off of something as small as my damn pants or whatever the case may be. When you literally have, you're literally asking a man or a person to come into an environment with, with multiple homes by multiple men. So that means they have to, even if the fathers were there or whatever the case, the fact that they aren't there, I'm dealing with certain, um, depending on how old the kids are, I'm going to be having to take heed to their mental state and make sure they don't have any abandonment from one father. So I may have to step, fill the shoes of someone else that's not there. And then in, in the one that says she was ghetto, usually in ghetto situations, the baby daddy going to start trying to come back around when he sees somebody else coming around. So, because she's ghetto, I have to assume you probably the type to text and be jealous. You're probably immature, all this other stuff. And you have the audacity to reject me. The first girl, yeah, I have multiple kids. I do. And you're being co overly confident in it. And you shouldn't be. The fact that you're sitting on a high horse to say, oh, he's not for me. And it wasn't even a, a reasonable reason as to why somebody is not for you. And now women like you step into those shoes to say, you know what? I'm going to defend them, even though this ain't even your fight, girl. 
you you rejected him off of why he didn't want to be with someone else. Not the fact that you got multiple kids and you probably looked the other way. This ain't even your situation. I'm rejecting you as to how you curb the next bitch. Instead of understanding this is a competition. So you should like the fact that he curbs someone else and you have a better opportunity with a man who has less baggage and who has a problem with women with baggage. But no, you put yourself in a situation to compete with women that you really shouldn't even be competing with because you're not in the same lane. You should have thrived in this situation. But no, I'm going to do my, my my due diligence and be there for women and be pro-women and say, you know what? I don't like the way you talk to those women. So it kind of sounds like you should be dating them. No, because, no. I mean, I can look at you and say, say, like, you you, you made people make mistakes. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice. Okay, some things become a choice. But no, no, no. Isn't determined. When it comes to w once is a mistake twice that's on you okay so then say like you get into a relationship with somebody you get married and things don't work so then i guess you made a mistake or and then so you once is mistaken and twice is i don't believe in that because i believe things happen sweetheart twice is on you okay you well, should have learned from that very no, first mistake it, it, okay and not saying that your child yeah pat i'm glad she popped her balloon somebody who does not understand this basic concept is a retarded person the fa and I'm sorry for the R word to anybody, but I'm saying this as a, as a loose way, as another form of stupid, because this girl is literally having a problem with comprehending that to say you had a mistake multiple times, it doesn't determine me. Yes, it does. If you're still in a position where you're calling them mistakes and you're not acknowledging and taking accountability for your lack of carefulness is what he's saying you're saying oh no that doesn't determine it yes it does if you're still making excuses for it that means that you're liable to do the same thing again or you're liable to teach this to other children and if i already have a daughter who's 19 it would be but they would, my daughter going to be judging me if i bring a woman to her that i'm willing to be with for real and this is the way that she thinks women like this who cape for other women's bullshit is the problem is a mistake right of course but the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with and secondly not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next doesn't one determine and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married but marriage don't determine anything i've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out baby so okay. yeah you are no honey buddy, okay you, you're too aggressive now no problem oh, well more. you know uh, the aggressiveness that comes from a southern man uh, right baby, let me explain and we stand on what we talking about come from texas so mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so when you, right, right, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. <laughs> Have a good day, love. She's being mad aggressive, saying, "Oh, you're aggressive, man," because he's standing on principles and he's saying what he like and what he don't like. And now, because you may fit the description or you don't like what he dislike, oh no, you too aggressive. Nothing about what he did was aggressive, and that let's be real. Why do women have a problem? with men being aggressive, but then we have a problem when he's not aggressive in certain situations, we want him to protect us. You're not gonna get everything. Why should I be soft-spoken to women who rejected me off of dumb shit? Now, this is a lesson to teach you because somebody did not teach you these particular things. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> she 